Hey, 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 Leo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, October 15th to the 16th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. I hope you guys are having a great day. Nice and sunny over here, nice crisp fall day. I love the fall, especially in New England. The leaves changing, all the colors. Okay, Leo, let's see what's going on for you guys and gals. Ooh, your energy towards love, the chariot. Wanting to go somewhere, are you? And the Knight of Wands, and we know what you want to do. That's the playboy, playgirl of the deck, Leo. Well, well, well. You're wanting to go forward, to go towards somebody pretty fast, waving your wand. I mean, the Knight of Wands, he is very charismatic. He is very excited. He is very youthful. He's funny. He's a go-getter. He goes after what he wants, but sometimes he's a little careless, and he can be in and out pretty quickly. And this is the energy that you have. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing, Leo, if that's how you roll. And the Cancer card is the Chariot, and the Chariot is all about balance and going forward and going after what you want. So let's see who's coming towards you. Is anybody coming towards uh, Leo? Who's coming towards Leo, please, in love? Hmm. The Seven of Cups, options. In the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, are you ready to play a game, Leo? Because this is exactly what I'm feeling. You have many options out there. There will be many options if you do not already. Depending on which option you choose depends on how this wheel will turn. In your favor? Not in your favor. And this is all related to karma. I'm feeling such a game show feel from this. Like, which one will you choose? Which one of these seven? Let me see what's in these seven. Actually, I never really... Oh my God. Okay, if you look at these seven options, okay? You see these seven options? Don't know how well you can see them. Look at these seven options. In one of them is a person, just one of them. The others you have an animal, you have a cup with the pelican, you have a cup with like jewelry in it or something. But all of these options, out of all of these options, only one of them holds the person, a person. And that's what I'm feeling with you. It's like, which one will you choose? Interesting, Leah. Careful. Careful of this energy. Like I said, it can be impulsive. It can be very impulsive, Leah. So, think before you not only speak, before you walk into anything that you may regret. Okay. So let's see how you're going to respond to this. How is Leo going to respond? Yeah. Eight of Wands, the fastest moving card in the deck. So these are the arrows of love. Hopefully you're picking the person in this card. <laughs> and you're sending these arrows of love to them. It is passion. It is passionate messages. It is fast movement. It is travel also. You have two travel cards here. So you could meet this person while about your travels, or you could be traveling to this person, or this person could be at a distance. Eight is also a twin flame number. You've got two sevens here, which is spiritual to me as a reader. You've got a ten, which is talks about beginnings and endings. And that's why I said this. It's like a very careful, be very careful with this energy. Okay? All right, so let's see how this changes your energy. Does this change Leo's energy? How does this change Leo's energy? All right. Hmm. 
Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, uh, Page of Swords, the Magician, and the Four of Cups. Okay, you're going to slow it down a little for a moment, Leo. Let's see what you do. Okay, these options are going to come before you, Leo. Right? And these are all going to feel like a burden. It's going to feel heavy on your back. So it's going to slow you down, which is a good thing, which is what I want for you. I feel like that's needed. It's going to slow you down for a moment. And you're going to realize you don't want to miss an opportunity with one of these options, with whatever it is, whatever you choose. Okay? It's making you a little sad, which is odd for a Leo. Leos aren't normally the sad type. But you will celebrate over... I feel a choice of one of these and it's because you're doing research or spying on somebody online um, but you do slow down because now you've got the slowest moving card in the deck the knight of pentacles right so you've got the fastest moving card and you get the slowest moving card so bravo you slow down thank God I was feeling like oh my god out of control because this knight of wands just wants to go whoosh, that's what I'm feeling from him. And combined with the chariot, it's like, whoa. But you do slow down and you stop and you think. You also have the magician card here. You're thinking about what you want to manifest and who you want to manifest with. So you're taking your time and this is a good thing. I feel like you've made a decision. So let's see who it is. Who is behind door number, I don't know, four? Who's behind door number four? Strength, your card. Your card, the card of Leo. That is taming the beast. All right, Leo, you're going to need some strength here. All of these, oh boy. Okay, you're ready, Leo? Because I get a lot of cards here. This is what's coming towards you. You're going to need strength to make this decision, to deal with this. You do have a justice card here, so it is possible that one of these options are your twin. It is possible. Five of Cups. This is that depression that I'm feeling, this Four of Cups. But at least you're progressing. You've got the Five of Cups. And you're trying to look at this um, from a positive viewpoint. You're trying to see the glass as, you know, half full. So I feel that you move on from this, the Six of Swords. You move on from some things that are no longer serving you. I'm glad that you slow down, Leo, because you wouldn't have had these epiphanies, so to speak, um, to do this. So you do, with the Six of Pentacles, maintain balance. Maintain balance. You gain your balance, okay, with the Six of Pentacles. You know you want an even give and take in a relationship. So you take the King of Swords energy. Libra energy, which is what the justice card is. You also, you, what you're doing is you're listening to your intuition. This is the card um, number 11, and 11 is a master number. It's all about listening to your intuition and doing it from a balanced state, okay? So within making this choice that's coming at you, you're also looking at this logically, you're like, okay, what makes sense? You're trying to use your intuition. You're trying to use your logic. You're trying to combine the two to make sure that you're not fucking up, really. In the Queen of Wands, careful of adding this energy. Oh, they just said this is who you're choosing. This is who you're choosing. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or they could have this strongly in their chart, fire energy in their chart. Okay, well, you have found your match, Leo, because the Queen of Wands is very creative, very confident, very, she's a go-getter. She goes after what she wants. She is a leader in her own right, and she is a temptress. She's the temptress of the deck, so this is who you're choosing. This is who you're choosing. Oops, okay. So let's see now 
how you respond to this person coming towards you. That was interesting because that was like a combination of their energy here. The Page of Wands, Excitement, the Three of um, Wands, more wand energy, and the Moon card. You're revealing a part of yourself to this person that you haven't before. This keeps coming up. Almost all the signs right now. Something's up with the moon. The three of wands. You're no longer waiting. You see the shift that you want. You see the shift that you want. I'm hearing all aboard. All aboard. Like you're hopping on it. It's it's arriving. It's arriving, Leo. So let's see what's in your future with this person, Leo. What's in the future for Leo with this person? Anything else? What's in the future for Leo with this person? Okay. Okay. We have the Hermit card, card of Virgo. We have the two of wands, more fire energies, a lot of fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and that's about having the world in your hands and really seeing your future, knowing who you want in your future in this case. Going within, again, which is good, this is more slowing down of your energy here and there. And finally, we have the 1111 card, the four of wands. This will all lead to a celebration in the very least, marriage at the very best. This is a twin flame card, 1111. Wow, so Leo, I hope you resonated with this reading. If you did, please drop a like below, share, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know if this is your story. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful out there, Leo. All right. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.